today we're discussing important items to negotiate on industrial leases besides the lease rate. Hi everyone, Edison Vasquez at Conrad. Hope everyone is doing well. Today we're discussing lease negotiations. Very often these are very long and difficult process, especially for tenants who are not represented by the right industrial broker. Lease rate is very important in the negotiation. However, there are other terms that can be as important and can make the difference between a good deal and a bad deal. These can also apply at the moment of lease negotiations for renewals. So here are some terms to keep in mind besides the lease rate. Number one, free rent. Very obvious, but sometimes overlooked. So free rent, if you're negotiating a lease, ask the landlord for some free rent, and the landlord will agree depending on the term of the lease or the, or the renewal term. Number two, tenant improvements. If you're leasing as an existing space, a second generation, more likely it will need improvements, or if you have a specific business that needs improvements, the landlord can help you with those tenant improvements and negotiate that part of the lease. Most landlords will give you typical floors, uh, walls, or painting during the loading area. So if you need anything additional, you might negotiate that during the lease as tenant improvements. Number three is annual increase. Also very overlooked, very simple, but can make a difference over long periods of time as one percentage increase over five, 10 years can make a difference over paying hundreds of thousands of dollars in excess rent. Number four is uh, renewal options. If you think you're gonna be in the space for a long term, but cannot commit to the space for long periods of time, it might make sense to do a medium sized term, which is five to seven years, and then ask for two to three renewal options, which gives you control of the space for long periods of time. This can be negotiated ahead of time. Number five is cap of controllable expenses. Not very often seen, but very helpful at the time of doing triple net leases in which the landlord breaks down into base rent and operating expenses. So cap of controllable expenses helps the tenant control the expenses that the landlord passes through which during the annual increases. So if there's an increase in property insurance and uh, operating expenses that are controllable, the landlord may have a cap on what to pass through the tenant. So these are important at the time of negotiation and especially on triple net leases. Number six is the right of first refusal or right of first offer. These are also in not very often, but can be helpful at the time of expansion for a tenant. So if you think in the future you will need adjacent space, a right of first refusal, a right of first offers give you the opportunity to have first control of any adjacent space that come available in the building. And number seven is zoning contingency. This applies for companies that have specific use that will need a different permit or a specific zoning or change of use, which can be a long process. In this case, tenants will work with the landlord to have some contingency period to get that permit or that zoning change or change of use. Other two items to consider are early termination and purchase option. Not very often seen, but applicable if you are looking to leave the lease early or terminate the lease early. There will be penalties involved. Not all landlords agree to it but it can be a tool for a company that's not looking to stay there long term or the business change, but not all landlords will agree to it. And purchase option, if the landlord will consider selling the building down the road, this can also be added to the lease as part of the process or a purchase option with or without a price. So hope this helps. I know it's a lot of information. Our team are experts in working with tenants in the negotiation and leasing of industrial space here in South Florida and throughout the country. You can visit our website, warehousemarket.com for more information and all the latest listings. Thanks for following us, be safe. Thanks for watching and thanks for following us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest videos on industrial real estate. You can follow us on social media on LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. You can always visit our website, warehousesmarket.com for all the information on industrial real estate and our latest listing. We look forward to hearing from you.